You go from not having a story to having probably the story of the year in the end of February. So let me just start by saying the story of the year is my story that I'm about to share with you. Um, if anybody tops my story coming this year, you let me know. But. <laughs> So, um, as everybody knows, I have many animals, three of my animals, which are dogs, two of them um, are winter dogs, and they love winter. Uh, so I have, <coughs> I take them for hikes on a regular basis, and the other day, me and my dog friend uh, decided to take a hike with our dogs. So there were four dogs with us all together, four dogs with us all together. Um, and we're just walking along and all of a sudden my friend sees that my dog is struggling because she has fallen through the ice and she is in a hole and ice is on every side of her and she cannot get out. So my friend, without even a thought in her brain, God bless her soul, um, fucking runs down to save my dog. I do not think this is the smartest idea as my dog is 15 feet away from the shore and in an ice hole. And I've seen movies, like I've never seen somebody fall through the ice in real life, but I've seen movies and it doesn't look good. So anyway, my friend runs down, tries to save my dog. Her dog obviously goes down to see what's going on. As soon as her dog goes onto the ice beside her, my friend and her dog also go in the ice. So now I have a human bobbing up and down in freezing ice, two dogs bobbing up and down in freezing ice, and me being like, fuck, if I go into the ice, this could be really bad. This could be the end of Madison Baines. So I'm trying to like, every, my everything flashes before my eyes. All the thoughts of the movies and the training. I have CPR training and I have some sort of idea of what to do here. So I'm like spread eagle on the ice, trying to hook my foot on the back or a tree or something so I can reach my friend and pull her to safety. But I am very short, so I cannot reach the shore and my friend. So here I am spread eagle on the ice, praying that the ice does not break. My friend at this point has now gone into total shock, so she's not much help getting herself out. She's just kind of staring at me, being like, I'm so cold, like obviously you're a cold bitch, we need to get you out of here. So I pull my, I pull her hound out of the water. I guess my dog, who was now on the opposite side of them, but still in this hole in the ice, used my friend to leverage herself up and get up on the ice. So she's on a floating iceberg. My friend now is alone in there and I'm, got her dog out and I am now pulling her out as she's in shock. We all get out. My dog has, I finally get them out of the cold water. My friend is in total shock. She has no idea what's going on. And my dog has found her way onto the floating iceberg instead of the iceberg that's attached, attached to the land like the rest of us. So here I am trying like a crazy person, everybody's wet, trying to get my dog to, I don't think she's gonna be smart enough to jump, so I'm trying to find a place where she can fucking cross. And my other dog jumps to go save her mom. So now I have two dogs floating on the iceberg. Thank God they're out of the water, but like how the fuck do I get them back to shore? Thankfully, my smaller one is smarter and led them both back to us. I rushed my friend back to my car, stripped down all her cold clothing because I seen that in a movie. I also got it in my CPR hypothermia training. You wanna get the fuck out of all your clothes. And I magically had a duvet cover in my trunk and wrapped her in it until her husband came. So, moral of the story, I, I, some may say that I'm a superhero, but really, I don't know, it doesn't, I feel like a very outer, out of body experience. I still, like three days later, I'm still like, did that actually fucking happen? I sat in my bed for the rest of the day after that happened, and I um, just contemplated life. So the moral, of the second moral of the story, don't walk on thawed ice. It can happen to you. It happened to my friend and my two dogs, well, my dog and her dog. And you know, I can't always be around to save everybody. So, all right, thanks for listening. You hear any story better, 
you let me know. It's a pretty good fucking story. Bye, guys.